Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm a little sick, so, you know, my voice can be kind of fucked up. So, uh, uh, I found out something really cool today. So, uh, my next project is going to be a uh, portable laptop charger using laptop batteries <clears throat> and a boost converter circuit. But I wanted to use the original smart uh, balancer and protection circuitry that's built into the laptop battery. So I have some Dell uh, batteries, brand new, uh, BC06, and um, I'm interfacing the SMB I squared C bus uh, with the Arduino. And uh, there's a lot of projects out there, and it's uh, <clears throat> the uh, the command hex, the hex commands are uh, well documented. So uh, I had to modify the code a little bit. Because it wasn't quite working, but <clears throat> I was successful. So right here is kind of a cool part. It says, well, it said um, charging current is three thousand milliamps, and voltage is twelve point six. So right now I, I was just to be safe. Um, I'm charging it at one amp, but I can unplug this, and it says twelve point five just to be safe. Let me plug this back in. <clears throat> so I'm just charging it at one amp, and you can see here it says one amp, except for this part where it says zero because that's where I disconnected it. So right now the charge percentage has actually moved up 47, uh, so it was at 47%, now it's at 50%, and we can slowly see the pack voltage going up. Um, when I was adjusting the current, the current was changing as well, so it uh, it does... <clears throat> For the current, it's the absolute value of whatever's going through. So, charging current in and charging or and current output, it's all through here. So, um, now that it works, I basically have a battery that can protect itself, and I can also interface that with some kind of microcontroller, most likely an Arduino because I'm lazy, and uh, that'll give me some important information. Um, when I actually want to use these batteries to charge a laptop. <clears throat> and it'll give me a like better calculations of like estimated time remaining instead of doing some kind of crap where I gotta like get a bunch of, you know, data or not data, but like get all the taps and like stick them into the ADC and it's not gonna be very accurate or very useful. Um but this way it's actually more useful to have you know, the smart interface that's built into the battery actually work for me. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.